All right, hey everybody, Herf here. Welcome to another episode of our Conan Exiles Savage Wilds playthrough. Hope everybody's having a great holiday season, and we've got a little bit of a lineup here uh, behind us. These two Fighter 3s uh, and this Berserker. Now, I did record uh, at the last second myself um, picking up this Berserker. Uh, he's just, we've, I've just been attacking these two uh, NPCs right here. There's one up the path is one on the hill uh he happened to be the guy up on the hill so i recorded it uh there's no audio because apparently i didn't have my mic on uh so anyway there's game audio there's just no no audio for me so i will play that here in a second but i just wanted to show you uh you know kind of what i've been doing so when i came back up here right i brought materials um to be able to craft the improved dismantling bench and the basic uh, lesser wheel of pain. We've made a handful of wooden boxes just to hold stuff. So my idea really was just to kill these guys over and over again. Um, you know, maybe do this, get a couple of, you know, fighter threes, because we did reach. In fact, I need to pick it. Um, War party and what am i gonna go for now oh uh, let's see we are what level 40 oh that wasn't what i wanted to do level 41 so i effectively have 20 points to assign 19 more after this one so i could um yeah i don't i don't really know i don't really know well, let's go with grit because that gives us uh i'm gonna go like five five and then i'm either gonna max out strength or i'm gonna put 10 into vitality i don't know yet i don't know yet um so this is what i've been doing i run up here this guy in the cliff and again i'm in single player so the server is going to work differently most likely that is that guy growls at you before this guy does, but he won't attack us. I lock on and I just hit these guys before he can even hit me. I back up a little bit, get some stand. I do have uh, I do have a bedroll here for what I miss, like that. Oh, nice. Okay, that's the first shield I've seen. So, yeah, that guy's... Let's just use this numbing wrap. Get a bit of health back, and we'll go fight this guy. Um, he yells at you, and then only, only comes down to uh, the corner here. Let me get my stand back. We'll target him. He's a fighter three. Oh crap! That's that's the first time I've actually fell off of that. <laughs> well, not the cleanest run I've had. Uh, and there's some gloves and some more numbing wraps. Beautiful. Uh, I'm taking all these. I, I I guess I can take that. Uh, there's a few more uh, characters or NPCs rather right in there that we could probably go after one at a time. But I've just been going after these guys uh, one by one. And as you can see, I'm just I'm dressing these guys up uh, as we get some uh, pieces of armor. So, um, what do we? Ha I think we have everything on her except for a helmet, and we don't have the normal tacit. We just have the fur tacit, but we have steel, steel, steel. Um, so we'll throw. You know what? We'll start dressing you because you're a damn berserker. I'd prefer a Lady Berserker, but for now... Oh, and he gets boots as well. Okay. So we're going to drop that, drop that. The Star Metal Shield has got 36 damage. What is this one? 33. So the Star Metal Shield's a little better. It's probably damaged, though. Yeah, it's a lot damaged. So you know what? I'll throw it in here. I think this is a great sword. Yeah. So I'm just collecting, uh, we have a full stack of these, I'm just adding 
that into there. You can see too there was um, an update uh, in between the last. Well, I'm recording these several days ahead because of the holidays. Uh, but in between my recording sessions, they did an update to Savage Wilds, which changed uh, the texture of the coins. Uh, and I think a few other minor things. Uh, I think they changed costs to things. It was like a like a currency update. So um, I don't think these guys will respawn. If I go this way and keep watching, those banners will disappear. Uh, at some point, the banners will... There it goes. When the banners disappear, there will be another NPC when we come up here. Yep, so single player is beautiful. That looks like a lady up there, maybe? We'll find out in a second when she yells at us. So I definitely would prefer uh, the female, at least, uh, companions. Uh, follower. So we'll see um, what she is when we get out there. I'm not going to bother to uh, knock her out if she's another three. Alright, that was a little cleaner, Herf. Some boots from a trouble. Are you going to... They're coming! Okay, she's going to get out of me. We'll see. She should meet us here. Oh, it's a fighter three. Now she'll run all the way up. Yep, yeah, I'm just gonna take her out. Oh crap, I did it again, literally. Those are the first two times I've ever fallen off of that. Uh, okay. Take all those things. All right. So that was productive. So I'm just doing this over and over again. You know, like, we, we don't get a lot of um, XP for knocking out uh, or, you know, killing people, really, of any kind. So I guess we'll start with the Berserker, because he's, in theory, the best one of the crew. So he's in full steel, except for helmets. Um... She was first. She's got gloves already. You don't have gloves. Uh, based on my recent exploits, I am... Oh, she didn't have boots either. Yeah, I do now. Alright, so we need helmets. Helmets is what we need! Alright, so I'm just going to keep doing this for a little bit and see what we can come up with. Uh, if I come back with any more uh, Berserkers or Delinzi or something, I, I you know, so I know the Berserker, he spawned on the cliff, this guy. So I know they spawn here. Uh, these are both fighters. So yeah, hopefully uh, we can get a, a Lady Berserker, or maybe uh, maybe a Delincia. But I'm gonna keep farming, uh, really, just for for equipment. Um, what do you guys got for weapons? I forget. So you got a mace. You've got is that a great axe? It is. And what you got the small axe, right? Star metal war axe. Oh, I've got okay. It's been a couple of days since I recorded, so I have a couple of maces in here as well. And my old equipment is here. So, all right, sweet. I'm going to keep going, and uh, we'll bring you guys back here with uh, any highlights or the end result. All right, guys, so I've knocked out a couple of Fighter 2s here, uh, despite them being men, because they have... Um, this is the second one I've done, and they actually have uh, the maces, which is what I want. <laughs> so, and they have decent shields. So I have two sets of those now. Um, I don't want you. So, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. We are, um, we're not making a lot of headway. Uh, we're still missing helmets. These guys are all outfitted now. Uh, except for helmets. And we've got... Started piecing together uh, a set for me. So we're still missing, obviously, a helmet. We need one more tacit. So it's slow going. I am probably going to dismantle uh, most everything else that we get. So uh, this was a lady 
Fighter 3, who I don't care about. We're just going to leave her here. I don't really need them. You know, I'm just grabbing... Um, I was experimenting to see which... Because uh, these two ladies both came with something different. She came... One of them came with, like, a... Yeah. This one came with a great axe. This one came, I think, with a great sword. So, I... It, but it looks like the Fighter 2s um, consistently come with... Oh, I have to go reset it. They consistently, uh, when they come off the wheel, they have um, the mace and a shield. So I'm just waiting for that to blink away. Blink! Why isn't it blinking? There it goes. Um, so yeah, we're still at it. We'll be back. Okay, just going to poke in and see who this is. Uh... That's a dude. These guys will come running at me, but they usually stop before they get hit. Oh, that was bad. What was that, Harf? I'm saying is these guys around the campfire, they usually don't come all the way over to me if I'm slightly far enough away. So that was kind of bad. Uh, there's a crafter around the campfire. But here's the problem, right? You can see there's one just over there. There's like, there's three more that way. <laughs> so, okay. No. Damn, these changes. I'm telling you, this, these combat changes are getting me. Um, you have to be much more conscious about... Uh, they don't sort of auto-attack, right? You have to be much more conscious about where your reticle is. I use a controller. Um, I think I've said that in the past. I, um, I'm using an Xbox controller on my PC. Um, so that's how I've always played Conan. Because I started playing it on the Xbox, so it was hard for me to learn. Uh, same with Ark. I use a controller when I play Ark. Um, we didn't get anything good here, did we? But yeah, these uh, these changes they've made recently with the combat stuff, you have to be much more careful about where you're aiming, uh, what direction you're facing, rather, you know, when you're in combat, if you're not locked onto a target. Um, so, you know what, let me... We got some healing wraps or something over here. Alright, guys, so I've got... Uh, I kind of got tired of just doing this over and over again. I did it for about a day uh, in-game. So I've got the Berserker and our original Fighter 3. The reason she has a pink stripe is because this... This uh, pauldron was with me uh, one of the times I went home. And I dyed it pink to put it on um, our fighter because he was wearing my medium armor because that's all I had left. Uh, so anyway, long story short, but that's why hers is uh, colored. Um, so her stats, uh, not that we're going to be building her up because we're going to replace her with uh, Delincia or another Berserker should we run into one. Um but I've given her Gruel to give her a 74% chance for strength, 70% vitality. Uh, and the Berserker here, I went with Grilled Steak to give him... Uh, he's got 75% already in strength, so bumps him up in the 80s for health. Um, so yeah, we're just going to see what we can... Uh, who we can beat up uh, in, this <laughs> in this camp. Um... See what we can find for loot and such. I've gone up here. Uh, there are horses in these stables, but I can't seem to do anything with them. I was hoping I could steal them, but I can't. Alright, let's see what you guys do here. Are you guys hitting them at all? I guess kind of. 
They're not very good yet. Uh, Take all of those things for now. You're more likely to live, so you carry that one. <laughs> Alright. Looks like they're going to heal up a tiny bit. Let me... Shoot at one of these guys. Boy. Oh, it's a berserker. Crap. Okay. Uh, shit. Was not clean at all, but I think I got him knocked out. Holy crap! Apologize for swearing there, but <laughs> uh, caught me by surprise. I didn't expect him. So that's a second berserker, I guess. Um, what did you guys have? Anything? I'll well, take the coins. Like I said, the uh, the caravan, the money change, um, or the money update for Savage Wild. I haven't gone through and read it completely, so I don't fully understand it, but. The synopsis is that it was a uh, currency update. So they've changed visually, like how the coins look in your inventory. And uh, they've also changed, I think, the prices uh, for things in-game. And I believe it's gone up because of, you know, I don't know, inflation. Um, so I believe the caravan lady will cost us more money now uh, to get back up here. So I'm trying not to die. Um, all right, let's... Insta tame him. Uh, okay. What I need to do is just leave my damn truncheon on my hotbar. That's kind of what I need to do. I'll stick you over here so you're not stepping on anybody else's. You look like Leon, except you're Sumerian. Is your name Leon? Um, so he's got a war axe. What do your stats look like? 85 in strength. So that's pretty good. Um, and honestly, 75 in vitality is not bad. I'd almost be tempted to give him grit food, which I've never done before. Um, just because grit is 40%. I mean, we could go with health, I suppose. But um, All right. You carried this for me. Let's take that. That's f might actually be better than mine. 554. 520, yeah, it is. Alrighty. So, uh, like I said, I'm just accumulating this stuff. Um, at the end of the day, we'll figure out, uh, you know, who's going to wear what. I don't need to put, you know, another outfit. I guess I am going to keep an outfit here, just... Uh, or the mo most of an outfit, you know, just in case I, I do something dumb and get somebody killed, which, you know, I will do. Um, all right, I'm going to rearrange the uh, thralls, probably take the other berserker with me, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we are back down in Maroon. Um, we are uh, at our normal base, and this is the entrance to the garrison. And I was just coming in here because we got a couple of scout reports uh, up in, um, I forget the name of that place already, but where the Sumerians were. Um, there's a dead body over by this sorcerer's bench uh, by that mound, and um, you get a scout report from it. So I've got a couple. I just was coming up here to get some gold coins, and I found this guy back here. Uh, we need a tanner, and he is a tier four. So, I did not remember my um, my orbs. So I took a chance and ran back down and picked them up. 
and uh, he's still here. So, <laughs> thankfully, our base is close enough. I guess he didn't. I didn't get out of range. So I'm gonna try to knock him out. Um, and we get ourselves a tanner. Pretty sweet. So I don't have a wheel of pain at my base yet. So I am going to uh, drag him up up top to where our wheel of pain is there outside the uh, caravan lady. Um, and yeah, we ended up uh, pretty good. I brought the two berserkers back. They're down. Um, I placed them at the base here. Um, we, I think I have four female fighter threes uh, up there still. Um, let's see how... Oh, that guy, not right. This is only going to take two. Come here, gazelle. So yeah, we have four uh, Berserkers, not Berserkers, we have four female Fighter 3s up there, Sumerian Fighter 3s. Um, let me take this out. Uh, and we have outfitted them all except for one uh, who needs a Tacit. They have full, uh, you know, Sumerian armor, as do our two Berserkers and myself. So we have seven, almost seven, like we're one piece shy of seven complete sets, except for helmets. Not a single helmet have I found. There he goes. <laughs> I don't know why that, uh, that ragdolling is just, it makes me laugh every single time. <laughs> Does not get old. I could literally do this a thousand times and giggle each and every time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to drag this guy up top. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do next here. I just... It was getting a little monotonous um, going after those Sumerians over and over and over again. So, yeah. We're going to tame this guy up and I'll pick you back up at base. Well, alright. We found uh, Iblis of Zangara. I have seen her before, except she was standing there. That's always an alchemist right there. Um, we are just in uh, the level of Maroon. That's where the pond is with the fishermen. And uh, this is always a dancer sitting here. This is always an alchemist, it looks like, sitting here. Um, and I have seen her there before, but she's here right now. So we, all I did was tame up. Uh, we do have this guy, what's his name? Inigo. So we did tame him up, and we came out here. Uh, and I just started you know, coming in here to look around in chests, see if we can find some more purple orbs or some steel weapons or whatever, and there she is. So beautiful. All right, we're going to do it again. Uh, where are my orbs? All right, she should be just about there. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> nice. terrible tanner you're the worst tanner i've ever seen i'm gonna slit your throat blacksmith one you're a horrible person you just locked in an argument forever <laughs> uh, can we get these masks these masks are actually pretty cool pretty cool please herf don't throw orbs at us no don't worry i'm not gonna This is literally the first uh, T4 I found in here. So one of you guys had given me uh, the tip that um, this is right outside, I think. Well, you know what? I'll have to double check. But I think it's right outside the wheel. It, it's, it, it, we're in Maroon um, where all the animal pens are. So there's a room here that you can just pop in, you know, and there's two NPCs and there's four chests. So I... Um, I have started habituating this um, <laughs> this place, uh, and yeah, I just come in here because you can, you know this is where I'm, I'm. There's four chests, so I get a ton of steel weapons that I can dismantle, and uh, there's a couple of NPCs. But I've never seen. I've probably done this uh, 50 times, 
And this is the first time I've actually seen a tier four in here, but um, yeah, we're collecting T fours. I don't know what I need an archer for, but we'll try it out. Lissa, oh, the longbow. All right, we've got her hooked. So let's see where this brings us here. I'm trying to remember if this is the... This is what I'm trying to remember. So this is where the, the Kitan slaver people are. So it's just that door right there. Yep, in and out. And that is all the animal pens. Um... I always check this just in case there are lady uh, taskmasters, and there are not. So, all right, take a look at a couple of chests on the way out. Ooh, yes, get one back. Oh, by the way, uh, Caravan Master Shima here is um, she's exploiting old her. What news? Four forty to get back to the old Either trade docks. It was one ten before. So yeah, oh, Herf wants a ride, Herf wants a ride, quadruple the price, please. All right, we got Miss uh, Iblis. I'm gonna call her Iblis. Throw her over here. If we find her again, we can put her on the Fireball Cauldron. What else we got? We got a Tanner, right? We got a Tanner, we need a Tanner. Um, this guy. Inigo? Inigo Montoya. Um, oh man, what's up with the Captain Picard look? This is like... This is like the baldy section. He's bald, but in a different way. <laughs> you stand there. What did you get for a... What do you got for a bow? Eh, we'll get you something better. Lissa, oh, the longbow. All right, all right. Well, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Um, pretty exhausting run up there. Uh, not a run, but just, you know, the grind. Um, but it was totally worth it. It'll be totally worth it. So we also picked up, and I think for the next episode, um, which I get up organize these stupid things. But I did pick up, where is it? Well, we picked this up. An actual sorceress page. Um, but I got a dead sorcerer's map. So that's the first one of these I've seen. So that, in theory, should lead us to the... Uh, to the sorcery cave, where we can actually learn sorcery and get that process started. So perhaps we'll venture out uh, with our newfound berserkers and try to do that rather than grind up. We'll mix it up a little bit. Uh, I am still working on, um, although I haven't been, but I still need to work on the base here. And I have been reading a little bit uh, and watching a little bit about the purges. So I think we can actually set um, the level of the purge. And I think what I'm going to do is build probably a second base uh, someplace a little bit away from here. I guess we, you know, we might be able to use our original base, although there's not a lot of... There's not a lot of flat area there for the Purge uh, camp to spawn in on, so we might need to do it, you know, somewhere out over there. Anyway, away from here so we don't have to worry about this stuff getting beat up. But, uh, yeah, as always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. If you find yourself enjoying what we do, if you're pulling for Herf, uh, do throw us a like, a comment. Consider subscribing if you haven't. There's all these things that do help out a small channel. And, as always, look forward to seeing everybody in the next one.